All right, guys, so today is Thursday, April the 2nd. So your work for today is supposed to be reading. We're going to read weird animals, lungfish, and then we're going to answer the comprehension questions. Letterland, we're going to read the Letterland poems for R and S, and we're going to fill in the blanks. Math, we're going to complete math practice 11. And then handwriting, we're going to practice R and S, okay? And then in science, you're going to continue working on moving and grooving activities. And specials, parents initials, choose a PE and a STEM activity. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to start with our reading. This is our new story for today. It says, listen and learn unknown words. Sometimes you hear or read a word you do not know. You can ask questions about the word to find out what it means. Here are some questions you can ask. What clues can I find in the other words? What clues can I find in the pictures? Find the meaning, finding the meaning of a new word can help you understand an information book. So we're going to be reading an informational book today. We're going to be learning about weird animals. One is called the lungfish. So that's the title of the story. So that means that what we're reading about today is going to be about this lungfish, okay? That is going to be what we are learning and finding information about. We're going to learn facts about, right? Facts are proven statements. So we're going to learn about the, them. The author, it is says by, that means she wrote the book, Rebecca McNulty. Okay. Have you ever heard of a fish that can survive outside of water? It sounds like something that is made up, but one fish is able to do that. It has a special way to stay alive outside of water. It is the lungfish, so that's what it looks like. This lungfish is on land, so right now it's on land. So let's see how it, it says that the fish is able to do that. It is the one fish that's able to do that, and it's a lungfish. So what do you think that this fish has that other fish don't, that it can stay outside of water? Well, let's read. All right, rainy season. Lungfish live in Africa. And so Africa is one of the seven continents. So whenever I pull up the seven continents, which was the unit we were supposed to be learning. In school, we were going to really, really learn some cool stuff. So when we are looking at the globe or a map remember we're north america so it says the lungfish lives in africa so you see this one right here this is where the lungfish lives it lives in africa okay africa has a rainy season it is a rainy wet time of the year lungfish live in a small lake it's called ponds during the rainy season. They swim and eat and rest like the other fish. This lungfish is in water. So he's in water during the rainy seasons in a, in a pond, okay? In the dry season, that's what it says, dry season, Africa also has a dry season. No rain falls. Ponds dry up. That is when lungfish do something special. Lungfish burrow into the bottom of the pond. They dig into the mud. They make a cocoon that covers and protects them. And we know that cocoon is like what the, a caterpillar does. Remember when a caterpillar goes into its cocoon and, crystal, uh, and makes its chrysalis, that it's going to come out and become a butterfly. So the cocoon is protecting it, right? That covers and protects the animal. So the cocoon is protect he is protecting or she is protecting himself down in the mud with a cocoon. A lungfish makes its cocoon in the mud. So do you see it around it? It's okay. Resting in slime. So this is what is inside the cocoon. 
The cocoon is filled with sticky slime. It keeps the fish wet so they don't die. So he is still wet. So like when fish are underwater, of course they're in the water, right? When we when we go to water, like when we walk into an ocean or a swimming pool, when we put our feet and our arms in it, we're wet, right? And so fish usually stay in water. So when the ponds dry up in Africa, this fish right here has to dig himself into the mud and create that cocoon. And that sticky slime is like water to him and it keeps him he keeps him wet so he doesn't die, okay? Lungfish rest in the cocoon during the dry season. It lasts for half of the year. That is a long time to live without water. This is a lungfish rest in the slime-filled cocoon. So do you see all that sliminess? So that's acting as the water to keep him wet so he doesn't dry, dry out and die. Okay. The rain comes back. Then the dry season ends. Ponds fill with water. The cocoon melts away. It becomes soft and disappears. The lungfish dig out of the mud. Soon they swim like other fish again. This lungfish is out of the mud. Okay. Number one. Read the sentence. What does the word survive mean? Survive. Does it mean swim? play, or live. So I want you to think about this. The, when it is dry season, the lungfish has to go into the mud and create a cocoon to survive. Is he going in there to swim, to play, or to live? Okay. Number two, what is special about a lungfish? It can live out of the water, it can swim in the water. It can drink water. Now, this lungfish is different than the other fishes. How is it different? It can live out of the water. It can swim in the water. Or it can drink water. Now, two of those, the other fishes can do. There's only one of these that other fishes cannot do. Which one is that? Good. All right, question three. Which picture shows a pond, what a pond is? And remember, it says a pond is a small lake. A small lake is small. So, is this a pond? This kind of looks like the ocean to me. So, the ocean is lots and lots of water. And we're looking for something that has just a little bit of water in it, okay? Could this be a pond? It's smaller than the ocean. And it doesn't have any more water coming down it right now. So it could be a pond. Or is this a pond? That looks like a water, a lot of water too. So we'll go over this one. So this is the ocean. This is a river. This river, it continues to go and go. It doesn't dry up either. And obviously the ocean doesn't dry up. But this little pond right here. When it rains, it fills up, but in the dry season, it doesn't have a resource for the water to come down into. The only way the water fills up the pond is when it rains, but in the dry season, it doesn't. So this would be our little pond, okay? Question four. Look at the word burrow. What, which other word in the text helps you understand what burrow means? And so when we go to burrow, we're going to go back up here. We're going to go back into the dry season. Lungfish burrow into the bottom of the lake of the pond. They dig into the mud. Okay, so let's go back down to the question. And it says, what other word in the text helps you understand what burrow means? Do they dig, make, or fall? And when they're burrowing, they're, they're doing what? They're, what are they doing in the mud? They're having to dig down in the mud, right? Good. All right, and question five. What is slime like? Is slime is sticky? Slime is hard? Slime is dry? What is slime like? Is it sticky? Is it hard? Or is it dry? And then number six, 
Which picture shows what happens after the dry season when the rain comes back? Is this what happens when the rain comes back? Is this what happens or is this what happens? When the rain comes back, what happens? I would say C. I would say that the he digs out of the burrow and he's able to swim again because when it says when the rain comes back, the pond, the pond fills with water, the cocoon melts away, and it becomes soft and disappears. The lungfish digs out of the mud. Soon they swim like other fish again. So we'll say this one. Because I can't tell what that picture actually is. Okay. Let me go over. On, you're going to do Red Robot today. And you're going to do Sammy Snake today. So remember you're going you're gonna to read your stories. Red Robot often takes things and puts them in his sack. If you ever see him stealing, shout, Red Robot, put that blank. Are we going to tell him if he takes things, are we going to tell him, Red Robot, put that away? Red Robot, put that down? Red Robot, put that pack? Or Red Robot, put that back? If he stole something, would we tell him to put it away? Down, pack, or back. And then Sammy Snake. Sammy Snake sometimes goes and has a snooze in the sun. But he thinks a swim in the sea is so, so much more run, bun, fun, or sun. He thinks a swim in the sea is so so, so much more run. He thinks a swim in the sea is so much more fun. He thinks a swim in the sea is so much more fun. He thinks a swim in the sea is so much more sun. So you're going to fill in the blank today. And then math today is practice 11. So it is part, part, whole. You guys are pros at part, part, whole. So you're going to take the first part, add the second part, and tell me how many there is all together. So in this one, you have two and one. What is two plus one? Three. Very good. So you're going to do this page and this page. And remember, if it is a blank, it's zero. So zero plus three, you have three. You don't, have, you don't add any more. How many does that leave you with? It still leaves you with three. Okay? And then handwriting today, you have R and S. Remember, when we do R, there's three motions to it, but we're not picking our pencil up. We go down, top to bottom. We come up. We go around. We go around on the middle. We come back a little bit, and then we make an angle down, but we do not pick our pencil up. And then lowercase r, we stow below the dotted line, middle to bottom. We go down, don't pick your pencil up, and come back and go around. Make a little heel. Okay? And then S, it's one motion, top to bottom, like a snake. And then lowercase s is the same, but it's not top to bottom. It's middle to bottom, okay? I want to see really neat handwriting on that, okay? When you get done with all four of your work for today, please make sure you submit it into your student portfolio. I hope you guys have a great day. Bye. Love you all.